In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Twilio SMS to work with Simply Schedule Appointments so that Simply Schedule Appointments can send text messages to both you and the people you're going to meet with. Let's get started. First, I want to show you this excellent documentation on the website. If video isn't for you, then this is going to be where you go to learn how to set this all up. The first several steps in this we're going to skip in the video because they're not about setting up Simply Schedule appointments, but rather simply setting up Twilio. And there's excellent docs for that as well elsewhere. So the first thing we need to do is enable and set up SMS notifications. Here we are on the Simply Schedule appointments settings page. We're going to go down to notifications and then click SMS. There are three important fields here that you need to have filled out. And you can see that mine are already filled out, but I'm going to show you where you get this information. You log into Twilio, and right on this main page, if you scroll down, you'll see those same three fields. And you simply copy them from here into your Simply Schedule Appointments settings. Once that's done, you can send a test message. You don't have to choose your country here first. If you type in your country's international code first, then it will change the flag for you. The US is plus one. And then we'll send a test message. And you can see at the top that the test message was sent. This means that you are connected to Twilio properly. Next, we go back to settings and go to general settings and we set your phone number. Again, start with your country code and then put in your number. Next, we need to add a phone field to appointment types. I have only one type, it's a consultation phone call. I click it, scroll down to customer information. So this is going to be the phone number of the people who want to meet with you, the people who come to your site and fill out your form. I add a field, call it anything you want, but phone makes sense, we'll make it required. We'll choose phone number, and then for the icon, again, anything you want, but phone makes the most sense. And we'll click update, and then save. Now when someone wants to make an appointment, they'll be asked for their phone number. Now, if you're coming through this and you have a whole bunch of appointment types and you need to add to all of them, if you click this little green label, it will turn into a checkbox and you can choose multiple phone types and add that field to all of them at once. That's a great time saver. So now let's go back to settings and notifications. And now we're actually going to add a new notification now that we have SMS set up. We're going to make it an SMS notification. And for this one, we're setting up a notification to go to the customer to remind them. You could also send it to multiple people to remind them all at the same time. But I'm going to choose customer phone number. And it's however many minutes or hours or days or weeks after or when, whenever this trigger. So the trigger could be when the appointment is booked. So somebody makes an appointment, then you could say um, two days after, send them an, an alert. Or the appointment is edited or canceled or the time of appointment. Let's say time of appointment, and we want before, and we'll say one day. And there you are. Now, I want to point out something um, that flashed on the screen there for a minute. I chose one minute before. It says this notification might be delayed or not sent as expected. That's because of the way WordPress sends notifications, either email or SMS. The clock inside WordPress only fires really when people are using the website. And so if you set something up to go one minute before the time of appointment and nobody loads your website, then it's not going to go. Uh, it might go 10 minutes after the time of appointment. So 
you just need to be aware of that. Now, if we're doing one day, it's less of a big deal because if it goes out two or three minutes late, nobody cares. So to sum up, I'm sending an SMS to a customer one day before the time of appointment. Then I'm sending it to all appointment types. If, you, if I had more than one, I could choose. And then we're filling in this message. This, this is the message that's going to go to them. And something I want to point out is over here on the right, these little T's, these are uh, magic keywords that will provide information in the message. If you scroll down more, it tells you what they all are. So there's the customer's name, a list of attendees, the booking URL, et cetera. There's a refund policy. So we could make a message that says something like, And then down below, you can see a live preview. Make sure before saving, you give this a name, and it can be useful to include in the name who is going to receive the text as well as the appointment type. Then we'll save. And now SMS is set up. Let's take a look at it in action. I'm going to book an appointment. for Monday, January 8th at noon. And here we have our consultation phone call booking page. You can put in our name, our email, our phone. Again, put in your country code and it will fix the flag for you. And then right here, it says, please remind me about this appointment by text message at this number. Once you've filled out this form, your appointment will be scheduled and your invitee will get a text the day before reminding them that they should come to your meeting.